Hi guys, how are you doing today? My name is Kidney J. The J stands for Jerk because my kidneys are paratrics. And this is going to be a quick, I hope, wham bam, and no thank you ma'am, of Nikocado Avocado before we get started. If you like cheese like he likes cheese, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new and leave a comment down below if you'd like. So, Nikocado Avocado, if you don't know him, huge YouTube personality, eats copious amounts of food, mukbangs as they're called, and, um, you know, has put on a lot of weight. I have done a video about this in the past, um, you know, see Pappy Daddy, we all know about it, but enter Candace Owens. So, Candace Owens, as you see on the right, Nikocado reacting to Candace Owens' video podcast about him. So if you don't know who Candace Owen is, um, she's a right-leaning, we'll say, political commentator. She has a podcast called The Candace Owen Podcast. It has 1.33 million subscribers on YouTube. I believe she also is affiliated with The Daily Wire, which is Ben Shapiro's outfit. Listen, I occasionally listen to Ben Shapiro only because I do like listening to him sling his boner pills. Not gonna lie. So Candace Owen did a piece about Nikocado Avocado called Gluttonous YouTuber is literally dying for clicks. And I don't disagree with that sentiment at all. The thing I disagree with is the way Candace Owens went about it. Basically did not do her research probably went to a BuzzFeed article, does not know Nikocado's trolling nature, maybe doesn't understand trolling on that scale at all, um, and basically said a lot of misinformation about Nikocado. So one of them was saying he's basically, he's on a ventilator. So we'll listen to that and then I'll talk more about it. Um, yeah, when we See, get there. in that um, photo that I just showed you, he has a ventilator on. He's got a, he has this machine, which is called a BiPAP machine that is for obese people to help them breathe as they sleep. Does it? Um, uh -huh. Sorry about the chewing. First of all, it's not, that was not a BiPAP. That was a CPAP. This lady doesn't even know how to tell the truth. And I don't even know if it's intentional. I think she just, anything she hears, she believes. Honestly, I don't think it's intentional, but let me just quickly say ventilator is quite serious. That's bypassing everything and putting, you know, breathing directly for you. A BiPAP is different than a CPAP. CPAP is continuous positive airway pressure, basically always continuously uh, putting air into your lungs when you sleep at night to keep your airways open so you don't choke, so you don't stop breathing. Um, if you're obese, one of the risk factors is having sleep apnea and CPAP helps that. BiPAP actually just pushes air in. I have been on a BiPAP machine when I was fluid overload, overloaded and I had a whole bunch of fluid on my lungs and I was in the ER and they put me on a BiPAP machine to sort of help push air into my lungs and push some of that fluid out. So completely, completely different. Listen, what I, I don't agree that what Nick Cotto, Avocado here is doing is is right, is a good message, but in the end, people do have free will, and that's why maybe I'm not as nasty as some other commentators. They're gonna do what they want, they want. But if you're gonna like say something about it, at least give the correct information um, so then people can make their own informed opinion. So Nick Cotto obviously was livid did his little reaction maybe as usual a little too much <laughs> drama uh involved but i just wanted to touch upon that i know it's something a little different today i want to thank you guys for watching have a good one and i'll talk to you later bye